Hey guys, how's the game going? So today we're going to be cooking up some fresh fish on this big barbecue here. We're going to go back to Lac Bay like we've been doing for the past few videos. And we're going to see what the fishermen have brought in today. Hopefully they brought some snapper because that's my favourite one. Especially to do on the barbecue. So we're going to take a drive down, try and get some really big ones because I, I guess I can fit some huge guys on here. So uh, hopefully they got the big ones, but I'm not sure if they did not. I'll just buy whatever fish they've got. So let's go and get some fish. Okay, so we're just at Lac Bay now and yeah, all the fish is gone. They've sold it all to the restaurants already, but I do know another place what sells like the local fish from the morning's catch, just unfortunately. I guess we came too late. It's only 10 o'clock, but still, it's all gone, they said. Restaurants have got it all. So I'm gonna leave Lac Bay now, go to this little um, fishery thing that I know. This little shop always has fish, You usually has fish and get some from there. So when we got to the shop to buy some of the fish, the shop was closed. So now we've, uh, this is a new day, went to sleep last night, got up now, we're gonna go back to the shop and get some fish. I'd like to go back to Lac Bay to buy some fish, but they don't sell it, Only they only sell it on like weekends and today's Monday, so we can't really get any now. So we'll go straight to the shop and get some fish. Hopefully they caught some good stuff this morning. When was this from this morning? This morning. Nice. Uh, and this is the fillet, but you still have the blood, blood, yeah, blood line and the and the bones. Right. But this is blood and bone free. Okay. Trust me. This is the sashimi style. Is it? So this is okay to eat raw, right? This is okay to eat raw. Okay. Whether the tuna or wow is fresh, yeah, it's okay to eat raw. Okay. Well, I do eat it raw, but I like it raw. Also cut this morning. Okay. First. Yeah, still fresh. Fresh, fresh. Okay. Okay, so we just come out of the shop now. Actually, the guy's really friendly, a really good shop, all the fresh fish, and we got a fairly big snapper. It's not giant, but it's a really big one, a yellowtail one. And uh, got some raw tuna because I can never resist the tuna when it's raw and fresh like that. So we'll probably make pokey out of this one. Or just sashimi maybe. And uh, loving it. Time to go back and start with the barbecue. It's going to be good. Seven dollars twenty for this guy. I'm gonna descale it and stuff now, so it's looking nice. You can see how fresh it is, even the ice. Stuff. So what I'm gonna do now? He's already gutted it all, so I'm just gonna descale it. Grab the tail like this. You need kind of like a, a chunky knife. So the only way I can really describe it is almost like carving a piece of wood, really. But so you can see they come off fairly easily. I've kind of got the knife angle at an angle this way and I'm just forcing them. you got to press on quite hard. The fish is pretty strong actually. You don't have to be super gentle with it. And it's really easy to see where they, where they are and where they aren't. I'm just gonna go and cut off the fins. So most of the scales are off on this side, except from a few near the fin here. So you can see the difference. This is, it feels really smooth. 
and this side is really kind of hard with all the still nice coloration still colorful here but not not the same most of them are gone and you can feel them if there's any left like here here's one and you can even pick it out with your fingers if you need to and if you feel the odd one I'm gonna cut these off now with some scissors I should have done this at the beginning because it makes it easier to um, take all the scales off but I forgot Alright, so now I'll take it down there and get any few little ones that I missed. Just give the fish a nice wash. Feel for any of the scales. You can really feel them if there's any in there. If you just rub your hand against it, it's really obvious where there's a scale. I'm going to keep this fish really simple. I'm just going to add, use salt and pepper and some oil and then at the end when I eat it just like a bit of a kind of like a garlic tartar sauce thing with some lemon I just that's how I like it nice and simple you could stuff it with loads of lemon or whatever you wanted to but I'm not gonna bother before I put the salt and the pepper and the oil in it I'm gonna score it down just go as deep as you can until you like feel the bone like you can hear the bone like so it doesn't all curl up in the barbecue you wanna go really as deep as you can it gets deeper as you get further to the tail and then obviously not as much. So some nice scores like that. This is like a bit of a garlic chili oil, a little bit of heat. Look at this pepper grinder, king pepper. Okay, so now I'm going to start the fire. I'm going to put this back in the fridge just to let it soak in a little bit and while I start the fire before I put it on. I'm going to need a fairly big fire because the, um, the fish is fairly long. I'm going to need like a pretty concentrated heat here and then at the back I'll try and have it not as, you know, not as hot because that's where the tail's going to be and it obviously cooks way faster. Once you got the fire really hot, nice and burning, that wood is really hot in there now. I'm going to start placing some coals on. I'm always thinking about where I'm going to lay down the fish, so I kind of put the coals where I think that they need to gonna be. All right, the fire's dying down now and it's just red hot embers. It's so hot in there. It's all glowing red, you can't really tell in the daytime. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a few more little coals on there just so it stays red hot for like, because I'm going to be cooking this fish for about 30 minutes. So it's important where you put the fish, now I'm looking at it, I can feel it, it's really hot. I'm going to want the big part here and the tail around here so it cooks evenly. And you're going to make sure I place it nice and straight in a way that, so I can flip it really easily. Because if it was filled with like um, spices and herbs and stuff, when you flip it, you don't want it all coming out, so you have to be able to flip it really nice. You only really want to be flipping it once. This fish was 850 grams, like nearly two pounds. So I'm going to do at least 15 minutes on each side on this, on the heat covered up. So I'm going to get the fish now. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to place it like closer to the front here, so that when I'm ready to flip it over, I can just do it in one easy thing, and then it'll still be in the middle without me having to mess around too much. So have a look at the flame. So don't touch it, so when I roll like it, I'm roll it that way and it'll be right in the middle. You want to hear that nice like frying kind of sound. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to close it and then I'm going to flip it in 15 minutes. Just leave it, don't touch it. So it's just coming up to the 15 minute mark now. So now what you want to do is you just want to lift it a little bit and if the skin is sticking then you have to leave it a bit longer but if the skin just peels off from the grill like that 
it just it just picked off really nice in one piece and you know you should just be able to flip it round like that and then all I'm going to do now I do want to bring it back a little bit but I'm not going to I'm just going to leave it for 15 minutes on this side come back to it in 15 minutes alright so it's been half an hour now and what I usually like to do is take some chopsticks and see if it's uh, cooked properly so I mean it's looking pretty good but the same thing see if it sticks got to give it a quick lift yeah look no skin at all is sticking not even a little bit so I'm going to flip it over back towards me look at it here it looks all nice and crispy inside looking really good but what I'm going to do is I take the chopsticks and I just see if the flesh breaks away and look see inside it's all juicy and white oh it's so good but that's how you know it's cooked you just open it it's all flaking starts to come apart really good definitely doesn't want to be in there any longer so I'm going to put it on a plate now so I just put it on like a little bed of lettuce and use some lime and stuff it's really hot I'm just going to bang so squeeze some nice lemon all over the top and it's good usually you can just eat this with your hands it's very hot at the moment but skin is so crispy it's nice and juicy still so you can just use your chopsticks to it's really good really soft really juicy just pulls off the bone nice and easily so chopsticks are just hands once it cools down a little bit really easy to eat with your hands There we go, cooked. <laughs> cooked in half an hour, eaten in five minutes. But that's how to grill a snapper. I'll see you in a bit. <laughs>